I am Dr. T. Manoha, Chief of Urology Services, Columbia Hospital, Whitefield. There are various medicines for the BPS starting from Ayurvedic, Homeopathic and Allopathic. There are various uses all over the world. Generally, the uh, symptomatic patients are initially started with medical management. There are generally two categories. I am not going into the detail of that. They are called as alpha blockers and phyalpoidetase inhibitors or combination of these two. They can be given either in single or in a combination of these depending upon the size of the prostate and depending upon the severity of the symptoms and depending upon the age of the patients. Some older age group does not tolerate these medications because of its uh, uh, postural hypertension side effects. So usually we generally does not prefer these medications after 75 to 80 years. Coming to the uh, surgical options, if the medicine is not working in a patient and if they are refracted to management, then the surgical treatment comes into picture. There are various surgical modalities starting from open surgery, laparoscopic surgery to endoscopic surgery. Commonly 95% of the surgery is done world over for the prostate or endoscopic procedures. Among the endoscopic procedures, we have got a monopolar TRP, we have got a bipolar TRP procedures and lasers. Among the lasers, there are various lasers like KTP laser, Thulium laser, Holmium laser. So depending upon the size of the prostate, depending upon the risk of the patient, we classify them and we offer them a Kefteria choice of approach which patient requires what kind of treatment. For example, if the young guy, 65 year old man who has a 35 gram prostate without no comorbidity, not on any blood thinners, he can be a fit candidate for bipolar TRP. At the same time, if the patient is about 85 year old, 90 year old man with a large prostate, 120 gram prostate, 130 gram prostate, and if the patient is having a high risk for the cardiac risk factors and he is taking blood thinners, then he will be preferably offered for a laser procedure, especially the holmium laser enucleation of the prostate where it can clear the prostate at one shot and which also helps in prevention of the recurrence, especially in those cases with a larger prostate. At the other end, if the prostate is uh, very small and the patient is under high risk where he cannot go under one anesthesia, then such cases can be treated with and our local anesthesia using a vaporizing lasers called as KTP lasers can be used to treat them. So there are various treatment options. It is suitable to the patient depending upon the patient uh, safety. We can choose the treatment and we offer them.